Almost 5 million people went to the polls during the early voting period. That's more than the entire 2014 midterm. KXAN's John Dabkovich spoke today with Jim Henson from the Texas Politics Project about why the huge turnout makes incumbents nervous and what to make of the early returns coming in at the top of this hour. What, if anything, does that do to solidify the numbers, those first numbers we see coming out? Well, what it means is we'll have a big early indication of what the trends were, and we'll be watching a lot of those key races, both statewide and regionally, knowing that we're looking at a pretty big chunk of votes in the early vote, so that's helpful. But it still begs the question that we're all sort of waiting for in a lot of ways, which is how much of the overall electorate took advantage of early voting and voted early. Are we going to see a big uh, surge in voting today on Election Day? Or have people, in a sense, already consumed the convenience and we're going to see a little bit of a drop off? Unclear right now. The huge numbers in voting we have seen. Is there anything we can tell as far as who benefits from that? Well, it's a little hard to tell. I think both sides want to run in their own direction in terms of Democrats and Republicans. We do know that in the largest cities, there are big chunks of voters, more than 10 percent, um, for example, don't have a recent voting record. And there were a big chunk of voters that we know usually only vote in general elections. So in those two areas, it, there are a lot of question marks, and that's what's making candidates and campaigns very nervous right now. When you see larger than expected turnout numbers. Typically, who gets more nervous, the challenger or the incumbent? Well, typically the incumbents get a little bit nervous because this is more uncertainty for them. Incumbents, they've run, they've won, they know how to do it, they have an idea of who their voters are. When you inject a bunch of new voters in there, it shakes things up. And so I think, well, it, this isn't a guaranteed advantage for Democrats. I think the people that are more nervous right now tend to be Republicans rather than Democrats because the normal pattern appears to be shaken up.